Hey there, CrossFit family. Welcome to Ramoga. So this is an online portion of mobility that's going to coincide with the programming that we have at CrossFit River Raisin. So this is going to be your recovery portion. So if you can't make it into the class on Saturday mornings, this is a way to bring recovery into your own home. So these are going to be quick little videos that will show you some yoga slash mobility movements that can not only improve your health and well-being, but also improve your performance in the gym. So let's get started together. Um, you're gonna come over to all fours to tabletop position. Your hands are gonna be stacked underneath your shoulders. Your knees are gonna be stacked underneath your hips. Your feet are going to be flexed and tucked under. And just start to wave your hips back and forth. And start to feel what that feels like for you. So we really want to dive into how our bodies are feeling. Okay, our bodies can teach us a lot about what movements may be a little bit too much for us or what movements we need more of. Good. Just keep wagging that imaginary tail back and forth, back and forth. Good, and then just moving this into bigger hip circles, bring your bum back towards your heels, circle your bum around, come back up towards your hands. Good, keep circling around. Breathe. Inhale through the nose, bring your hips back towards your heels, exhale, heart comes up towards the hands. Good, next time the heart's up towards your hand, just circle the other way. Are you feeling any opening happening in your hips? Check in with yourself. Awesome, last time, come back to all fours. Great job. Make sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips. Bring that right leg straight behind you. You can tuck the toes under if you like. You can keep your leg on the floor here or raise that leg up. Good, recruit from the core to help you keep that leg nice and straight, heels pushing out towards the edge of the mat. Breathe here, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Good, if you wanna take it one step further, raise that left hand straight forward, bicep near the ear, working on balance here and strength, pull that core in, recruit from the lower back, squeeze the butt cheeks to help you. Breathe. Exhale, release. Good, let's take it to the other side. Left leg goes straight behind you, tuck the toes under. Good, keeping your leg here or raising the leg up. Now I don't care how high you get your leg up, I'd rather have you have it straight back so you're pressing that heel back for proper alignment. Good, breathe here, inhale, exhale. Keep breathing. Good, option here, right hand comes straight forward, bicep near the ear, keep looking down towards the ground, towards the mat.
Good. Exhale, release. Come back to all fours. Bring the left hand in front of your face. Awesome job. And the right hand's going to thread the needle right underneath to come down onto that right shoulder. Keep your hips at 90 degrees. Toes can be tucked under. The left hand can stay right underneath your head, or you can even bring your left arm forward. Good. Open up that whole right side of the shoulder, right side of the body. Another option here is to bring the left hand behind you to bind. Object here is to keep that left shoulder open, the heart opening, so you're opening some of the chest. Do whatever feels good in your body. This is for recovery, it's not for time. Good, inhale. Come back to all fours, take it to the other side. So the right hand comes in front of the face, flat on the mat. Left hand to thread the needle underneath, come down into that left shoulder. Breathe. Right hand can always come overhead. And you can bind behind. Good. Inhale. Push off that right hand. Come back up to all fours. Bring your knees so they're hip width diff. They're wider than hip width diff. diff blah, blah, blah. <laughs> From all fours. Bring your knees so they're the width of the mat. Bring the big toes to touch. Sit your butt back towards your heels. Now, if they don't really make connection with the heels, it's okay. Bring your heart as close as you can down to the mat. Arms come out in front. Crawl those fingertips forward. So you should have really nice long side body here. Your elbows should be straight. And then trying to get that heart closer and closer to the mat. Maybe your forehead floats down, hits the mat. Breathe here. Breathe into that side body. Notice any areas of tension. Awesome job. Inhale, come back up. Good. And then you're going to come around to sit with your legs straight out in front of you. Pull your cushions up and back so you can really feel grounding in the sitting bones here. Good. Make sure that your toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Awesome job. Inhale, raise the arms up overhead and exhale, move the heart towards the toes into a forward fold. So wherever you can land, if you want to place your hands on your thighs or on your calves or on your ankles or all the way to your toes, you do what's best for you and what feels good in your body. You can gaze towards your feet or your chin can softly start to meet the chest. Breathe here. Good. Exhale, release the hands down, start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Great job. Bend that right knee. 
Good, and then you're gonna cross the right foot over the left leg. Pull that shin closer towards your belly. Wrap the left arm around the front of that right shin. Pull that knee in so you should start to feel some opening on the outside of that right butt cheek. And then you're gonna bring the right hand behind you. Now before you start to twist, inhale, get nice and tall. So you want that nice tall spine grounded down in the sitting bones. Exhale, start to twist and gaze over the right shoulder. Breathe here. Exhale, start to untwist. Straighten that right leg. Bring the left leg in. Bend the left knee and then left foot goes over the straight right leg. Right hand to wrap around, squeeze that shin in closer. Left hand to come behind. Inhale, get nice and tall. Exhale to twist. Good, exhale, come back around. Awesome job. You're gonna scoot yourself forward a little bit on the mat to enable yourself to lay down for our recovery pose. Feet are splayed out to the side, legs are long, arms come down by the sides. Allow the palms to face up. Close your eyes. Feel connection of the whole back body into the mat. And try to consciously relax here. Maybe feeling the bones pulling you down, 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 heavier, heavier into the mat. The front of the body feeling a little bit lighter. This is your time to recover, to restore to be at ease, to let go. Stay here as long as you wish. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Hey guys, so thanks for joining me with the Ramoga experience. If you like this, Please give me feedback on the comments of this video. Um, hit like, hit the bell for notifications when new content comes up. And as always, subscribe to this channel because this is going to be your new and improved way to make yourself more mobile and to improve your workouts in the gym. So thanks for joining me. And for those who do not know what namaste means, it means the light within me honors the light within you. It's a yoga thing. I'm bringing it forth to the CrossFit world. You're welcome. Have a great day.